What's going on guys? TMT Toy Collector here. Today is going to be another uh, review video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Rocksteady um, Ninja Turtle Classic Collection review. This is not the actual Rocksteady from like the 1980s and stuff because obviously I wasn't born that time and those figures cost so much money to get actually for real. But this is just a remake, like a classic collection. And if you guys saw my video yesterday, I did a Bebop figure review. And I had a lot of great uh, feedback and comments on it and stuff. So, thank you guys for commenting on the video and everything. So, in this video, uh, I'm going to be doing this Rocksteady figure review. Now, I know I did a video about this Rocksteady like two days ago. But some somehow the video and the audio got s synced up wrong. So I didn't want to upload it because like it, the whole thing was delayed. So if you know what I mean by that, it's like basically you record your audio separately on Audacity or something else, and you record your video separately as well because obviously an external microphone won't be connected to the camera just like that. You have to like add them up all together and everything. So, so I um I deleted the video. Obviously, you guys probably know that. But there was only like one comment, which was Michael Santoro. So shout out to Michael Santoro for that, uh, for commenting, anyways. Um, yeah. So this is just gonna be a, a, a review about this uh, action figure. So here's the action figure. It looks really nice, just like the um, what is it? The Bebop one. The Bebop one had tons of detail. This one really doesn't have all that much detail as you would expect, but it's still pretty good. I don't really care about all the detail and everything. I just care about collecting these for collection purposes only. A lot of people who like to do stop motion might care about the detail and everything, but I don't really care about that. But so I'm gonna be going over the um, the sculpting and the articulation in this video. That's all. It's not gonna be unboxing because I already unboxed this figure on a video, but it got deleted somehow. So I don't I don't know like what happened to the video or whatever but this is just gonna be a review about this figure and if you guys can hear some background noise it's just because um, there I have my window opened and there's a whole bunch of birds chirping or whatever so this is just gonna be a little review about this figure so basically what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go over the uh, sculpting of this figure so we're gonna move from head down just like we did with the bebop figure so uh, looking at the head of his head, whoa, it just got tons of bright. What the heck? Okay, moving on to the head, um, you can see that his eyes are very well painted. You can see it's kind of like pink and a little bit greenish. It's not very black. It's kind of like the greenish color as his um, his hat. It's like a his like iris, iris or whatever. It's kind of blended into his uh, hat tone a little bit darker though if you guys can see that if you guys can see that looks pretty green to me uh, same on the other side so it's just a really bright pink color and a pretty dark green color as well so now that's for his eyes now his horns are a completely different shade as his skin tone because obviously their horns are supposed to be like that so you got two horns, one over here around his nose area, and then one over here by his like eyes. This one's a bit smaller, not too much, a bit smaller than this one, and they're not pointy. They're not sharp or anything, so uh, kids won't get hurt or whatever, but it's completely smooth right there. If my camera would focus. There we go. It's completely smooth. Uh, his teeth is around the same color as his tusk or not tusk I mean horns uh yeah it's pretty much the same color I don't know why playmates says their teeth green I mean not green uh gray instead of like white but on both sides it's pretty gray grayish not as gray as his uh skin tone but there's that uh, his hat is the green color. He has binoculars or something, or I don't know, like yeah, I think binoculars to spy on the turtles or whatever. But there is his 
binoculars. It's not black or anything or a different color. It's just blended into his hat. There's a little cutout for his ears right there. Um, and he has a very nice polished jet black color uh, tank top and it's very very smooth. So that's pretty cool. And it goes all the way around until you see his spine. There's his spine right there. It, the tank top is not covering that. It's just right out there. And then he has a whole bunch of like dots or something around his um, his body, like his shoulders, his arms. There's some on his back right there. I don't know what that is, but it's some on his head, like two on his head. Let me just fix my microphone because I don't think you guys can hear me that well but um so he moving down he has two shells just like Bebop well Bebop has it on his shoulders Rocksteady has it on his waist and actually I wanted to show you guys something this can actually come off as you can see that can come off completely off of the figure itself so there are the two shells they look like tortoises because the turtles are tortoises if you guys didn't know that wait no Whatever, I don't even know if the turtles are tortoises. But these are tortoises shells. I have a turtle and it shells nothing like this. It's a turtle, it's not a tortoise. They're completely different. If my camera would focus on that. Not sure if it will, but whatever. And it's a whole green color and it has like three, four pockets. Yeah, four pockets around the U belt. Um and you could just easily put that back on. It's just like a little attachment thing. But I'll just leave it off uh, for this. Uh, for right now. So moving down to his legs. You can see he has camo uh, pants on. All the way down. Uh, it's a green color for the like uh, no, these parts. And then his pants are. The rest of the pants are brown. And also, I want to tell you guys something. I on Easter, uh, I'm gonna get some Pokemon and stuff to do on the channel because I only did two Pokemon videos, and uh, some people like it. So I am gonna get a whole bunch of Pokemon to open on the channel for you guys. So I hope you guys, you guys, uh, are excited for that, as excited as I am for it. But I'm going to Walmart today. Probably gonna do a, a toy hunt or whatever. Maybe I'm not sure still, but. Yeah, anyways, let's get back to the review. So he has two pockets around his knee. Um, as you can see there. Um, just blended into his pants, obviously. And then his shoes are pretty much the same color as his tank top. It's like that nice jet black color. Right there. And on the back, uh, it's the same thing. Camo color. So that's for the the sculpting and the coloring and the detail and whatever for the figure. And let's move on to the articulation. So, as you can see, um, his head moves like that, but it does not go all full 360 as you would expect because right over here, as you guys can see, uh, his neck is like short over here and then it goes kind of long around his chin. And that's what's causing it not to really turn. As you can see, I mean, if you force it, I bet it will move yeah I like that and that looks weird so I'm just gonna fix that and it's pretty hard to move I'm not sure if you could pop the head out um yeah I'm not sure about that but um that's that his head does not move a full 360 unless you force it and I would advise not forcing it because you might break it but um his arms do move a full 360 nice and smoothly um so if you're gonna do stop motion for this the arms are gonna move pretty smoothly they don't go in and outwards but his uh, wrist does have very nice articulation so you could put him in different poses and all that so if you're a stop-motion person and you like to do stop-motion a lot this is a figure that you might want to get except for the fact that his head doesn't really move I mean if you're gonna do stop-motion you might want to force his head a little bit but again I won't advise that because it would break it uh, probably uh, so on both on both um, hands, his wrist moves pretty nicely. Has a very nice, smooth feeling to it. It's right there. Uh, and his legs just go in and out like that. I think just like the Bebop one, and it goes like that. 
So, yeah. Uh, and they can twist and rotate a full 360, like that. Um, around like that on both, but that kind of looks weird, so I'm probably not going to do that anymore. But, so that's pretty much it for the review. This video is 10 minutes long, so, and uh, the, the other video, the Bebop one, was like, I don't know, 9 minutes long. So this is a bit more of a in-depth review. Well, not by very much, but that was the uh, Rock Steady. I almost want to say Bebop, but this is the Rock Steady figure review. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit like hit that like button. And also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It will help out my channel a lot. I currently have 141 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for the support. And and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.